How you doing? The girl gonna be rusty. Ooh. Cheers to Middle Grade March. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. My name is Chrissy. Welcome back to the Purple Library. It's been a while since your girl did a sit down video, okay? Cause we've been out in the wild. We've been vlogging all the day long. It's a middle grade March. Middle grade March is one of my favorite things to do each year. I love reading middle grade throughout the year, but definitely in March, it's a whole nother level. We're excited to participate. Krista from Books and Jams does a recommendation video with other booktubers who shout out their favorite recommendations. So I will link that video down below. There's gonna be some amazing recommendations next year <laughs> if I wreck me, cause um, I had to sit down and film that. I said, oh, we're gonna have to figure something out <laughs> because the wrap up was wild. We thank the Lord for it. So in this video, I just wanna share with you the books that I have on my shelf because your girl is really trying to be intentional with reading her shelves. We're doing okay. Ooh, child, I am rusty. This sit down and film a child, I am rusty. It's been a while. Ooh. Girl, I don't know how many books I got here. Huh? I just wrote the ones down that I wanna read this year for middle grade. The one book that I do wanna read for middle grade March, I don't have a copy of it, so I'm, I'm on the fence because I've already bought enough books for the month already. Hauling in like she ain't got no sense. Girl, uh, that vlog will be linked in the description. It reminds me of one more. <laughs> I forgot one book get to what I need to talk about. This, this is an MBR, huh? And Lou was like, honey, we, we gonna be doing MBRs now. I said, amen, Lou, amen. MBR possibility slash recommendations. But the mood goes where she goes, honey. And I'm going where she go. Huh? <laughs> Categorize as books that I absolutely 90% sure that I will be reading and during middle grade March Charlotte's Web I love Charlotte's Web as a little girl like little Chrissy read Charlotte's Web over and over again she probably didn't know she had a, rep a repressed pork fascination at the time no we we don't mess with Wilbur in this book don't let me go into the dissertation because don't tempt me don't tempt me with a good time I'll, I'll dissertate now I'll do the, I'll do that pork dissertation I wanted to read it last year actually and I picked it up from the library wasn't able to check it out I think there was just some other priorities but I definitely want to read Charlotte's Web this year I'm super super excited fantastic classic to revisit a babysitter's club graphic novels I've been reading through the graphic novels probably for the past two weeks or so I definitely vlogged my experience I will link my vlog down below where I talk about the first four books, I think. Did I talk about the other two? Oh, I hope I did, y'all. I'm on book five. Huh? So I definitely want to read at least two or three more in this series. I'll finish them all. I don't know. Graphic retelling of the original Babysitter's Club, the 90s, okay? No, oh, 90s was the Wild Wild West, okay, if you didn't know. The graphic novels are staying so, are pretty much staying true to the original story plots, even like the things that they ate, the technology that they use, how the rotary dial phones, how the big old cordless phone that you just had to like carry with you in a box. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying reading this. And a treat was a girl who struggles with dyslexia. And if you, I was healed from dyslexia, but I definitely had this condition when I was a lot younger. I actually talk about my testimony about that in my live stream. So I will link my live stream below where I talk about going into details about this book and fishing the tree. And little Chrissy is sort of kind of semi thrilled about this because she's like, I really don't want to think about that time. A little rough. Okay. It was a little rough for a long time. Okay. But I think it's really important to revisit these kinds of books. Rain Rain that I read last year was about a beautiful autistic girl. And so I think, you know, reading these kinds of books, I'm so grateful for these books now because it really helps children with those conditions. And even as adults, you know, if you have experience, if you're experiencing those conditions or, you know, you're working through trusting the Lord for your healing in that, it really helps you feel seen that you are not alone in that and that, you know, the Lord will absolutely heal you. I'm actually gonna be reading this with Amanda and Lindsay, the squad. So we're gonna be reading this together. So I'm super, super excited to share this with them. Baby girl, Honest June, okay? Secrets and Spies, this is the third and final book in the Honest June series. If y'all didn't know, it ain't one book recommendation other than Hob, because we're not talking about Hob, but but we did talk about Hob last week. So let me move. <laughs> by Tina Wells is literally one of my favorite <laughs> middle grade books to read. Honestly, I could reread this this whole series again. And the illustrations are just just amazing. It's just June is a, a people pleaser of her fairy godmother puts a spell on her. It says 
June. You have to tell your truth. You should tell the truth, how you tell the truth, and all the consequences that fall out from that. And very impactful series. And I was very impacted reading it as an adult. I could definitely see little Chrissy through and through, okay? And even myself as an adult, very, very encouraging. June, get herself in some situations, y'all. I, I, I say, you got yourself in a pickle, huh? You are in the pickle jar. The seal is tight. I don't know how you're gonna get out of this. We're excited to finish this series. Over time with Pearl Lee. Let Lord, we thank you. Oh, how big. This is going to be one that I am definitely going to read. I'm super, super duper excited. Seventh grade, she got a boba tea shop. She has a tech obsessed family. Having all the things. Given the Chrissy trifecta. Boba, tech, and books. Girl! Everybody reading this with the squad, Amanda and Lindsay. Hey, girls. Hey, here lies author by Philip Reese and Arthurian retelling, cause y'all already know. <laughs> Girl, she's forced to run from her village. She runs into Merlin, that young author here that has a destiny. We need to hoodwink and hijink and maneuver him to be King Arthur that we folks have prophesied about. And I don't know if this is a series or not. Looking forward to reading this as well. Ink Feather Saga by Andrew Peterson. I am super excited. This is a middle grade Christian fantasy series. It's your peril, lost jewels, and the fearsome toothy cows of Screek. I don't need to know no more than that. Adventure, coming of age, character development, dragons, quirky character, all the things. And so I've definitely been wanting to read this for a while now. So I'm super excited that I'll be able to read this as well. These next books are ones that I hope to get to if I finish the other ones, potential carryovers, okay. Two in the series of unfortunate events. I read book one last year for middle grade March. Try to end throughout the year. It would be actually a good um, palate cleanser as well. My sissy gifted this to me as well for my birthday last year. I want to check this out. Magician's Nephew by C.S. Lewis. I actually read The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe in January and so I am super excited to continue this series as well. I would love to. I got these special edition copies um, on my DC trip haul. It's, it's just so beautiful. I love and you know y'all know I love me a glossy page. The edition in this book I don't have is A Lion, the Witch, and Wardrobe so I had to get that from the library but Book Wanderers by James. I first saw this book on Chris's channel and I was like oh my gosh this looks so interesting. Grandparents have a bookshop. Your favorite characters from all these classic books show up in the bookshop and Alice, you know, can wander to any of the books that she chooses and she goes on all these adventures with some of her favorite characters. It just sounds like a wonderful time. So Genesis begins again by Alicia D. Williams. This is a coming of age story by a beautiful little brown girl and all the um, issues that she faces with kind of a broken home, the racial tension that she experiences within the African American culture, you know, and her dynamics at school so this sounds like a very much so coming of age story and I, I like what this is implying as well as far as you know skin tone fortunately these are the, some of the things that some black kids experience myself included it follows a 13 year old girl named Genesis and all of the issues that she goes through and so yeah I, I'm curious about this one I've had it on my shelf for a little bit now Swim Team by Honey Christmas and Marie is new to the town. New and she has this elective swim one on one, honey child, because Chrissy don't know how to swim either. So I would be like, take me out the class. Marie is definitely a lot braver than little Chrissy, okay? Hard work, she ends up joining the swim team and probably really enjoying it. And so, pretty brown girl on the cover. This is actually a graphic novel. I really enjoy graphic novels. They're just a, a really great, refreshing way to consume books. And so I really, really like graphic novels. So I'm looking forward to all these adventures. And then last but not least, Blue Birds, Caroline Star Rose. This follows Alice and her parents on journey from England to help settle in the new world. And in this new world, she meets a beautiful girl named Kimmy. And although there is a language barrier there, they become close friends and they learn about one another and the culture and the impact that both of their societies have on one another in the new world. So this is a historical narrative verse about that time period. It's very interesting. Hopefully I can get to it. It's of books and narrative 
verse as well of storytelling through the medium of poems and hope to enjoy this i hope i can get to it as well so yeah so yeah so those are the books that i plan on reading let know what you plan on reading for middle grade march march is also mystery madness so if you got some mystery books or some thrillers that you plan on reading as well in march let me know that too because your girl's always up for a good thriller okay a little palate cleanser here and there let me know if you've read any of these books and what your thoughts are let me know all the things in the comments down below thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here and i'll see y'all next time bye